In this video series, we will complete a Revit structural project in small, easy steps. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. In our previous video, we have assigned tags to our foundations, columns, and beams. Now we will make structural drawings. First of all, we will rename our structural plans. We will rename top of foundations plan to column and foundation layout plan. Level 1 will be renamed as Plinth Framing Plan. And Level 2 will be renamed as Roof Framing Plan. Now we will crop our plans to the size of the actual drawing area. Let's open our column and foundation layout plan. We will click on Show Crop Region. Now adjust this region to the actual drawing area. Click on the same button to hide crop region. Now we will repeat the same step to all the framing plans. We will also adjust the crop region around our 3D view. Now let's create a drawing sheet. We will go to Project Browser. Down in the list click on Sheet and then right click on it. Now click on New Sheet. Now let's place our column and foundation layout plan here. Scale of our plan is very small as compared to sheet. Delete this plan from the sheet. Open our plan and change the scale to 1 by 4 inch is to 1 feet. Now repeat the steps for plinth framing plan and roof framing plan. Change the scale for 3D as well. Now let's place our structural plans and 3D view on the sheet. Just click on the plan from the project browser and drag and drop it on the sheet at the desired location. This is our structural drawing. We do not want to show architectural details here. Double click on the plan and press V G to show visibility graphic overrides. From Revit Link tab, remove architecture file. Now it looks better. Now our structural drawing is ready. In our next video, we will see how we can add reinforcement in our footings. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.